my veins. I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame. Cause I can't. What is going on, my guys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian, and you're watching Flake Garage. And today we're gonna do the turn signal LED upgrade that I promised you guys on my last video. The guys at Oxido LED finally sent me the turn signals that we needed. So we are gonna upgrade the front and back of the truck, and then we're also gonna basically compare how it looks to the old regular halogen bulbs. Uh, I do have two versions of those bulbs, thankfully. So I have the amber bulb that goes with usually the clear lenses. And then I have the clear bulb, which is uh, the one that goes with your amber lens. And this bulb is gonna be a size 11 feet. Now 11 feet was a bulb that we used before as well in one of the brake and reverse lights. I don't remember exactly which one it was, but the main difference is that this one is gonna be the amber version. So it's gonna work with either amber lenses, clear lenses, or smoke lenses, depending which one you have. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and show you on the trucks. I got both of my Mazdas in here. One has clear lenses right now, and this does have factory bulbs. The other one has amber lenses. So I'm gonna show you how it looks before, then we'll upgrade to the LED bulb and show you how it looks after. I'm very excited about it. I think it's gonna look great. The bulbs themselves look like good quality, so I'm gonna show them to you in a second. And then another thing you might need also when doing this mod is gonna be an LED relay. Now, an LED relay is very important because it's gonna allow your truck to not hyper flash. When you're doing an LED upgrade, especially for turn signals, a lot of cars tend to hyper flash, and that's because the computer's not smart enough and it thinks the bulb is out. So. This relay is basically gonna prevent that. It's gonna keep everything in check the way it needs to be. And it's gonna prevent that hyper flashing from happening. So very important, pick one up. I'll link you guys on the bottom to everything that I'm using, to the relay, to the bulbs, everything that I'm using today. Please guys, check the description. And that goes for all of my videos. I get a lot of questions that could be easily answered by just checking the description with links and everything where I'm finding the stuff. Now, if I can't find it, or for some reason it's sold out, then I'll definitely let you guys know there. So please check the description and you have links to everything that I'm using today and in any other video that I might use at that time. So without further ado, let's jump right into comparing these bulbs and switching them in the truck. Let's do it. All right, guys, and here we have the brand new Oxido LED bulb. And right next to it is your regular halogen bulb. And we also, I have the Triton LED flasher relay here. I will show you the location of where the relay is, the factory one, so you can swap this one in there. But before we do that, we are gonna test these bulbs without the relay, just to see if we get that hyper flashing. If we don't get any of, any of it, then you won't have to buy this. But let me just show you here, basically, the new LED bulb is basically about the same size of the old one. It's just a little bit taller than it. But the cool thing about this one is that it basically has LEDs on all four sides of it. So that is pretty cool. It's gonna be super bright, I can already tell. And then the top of it, it's just kinda of sealed off. Uh, pretty cool, interesting looking, solid construction in my opinion. So again, I don't think you can go wrong with these bulbs in your truck. We are ready to go ahead and move into the truck and see how these ones look right now in there, how bright they are and everything and then we'll swap them into this. Let's do it. Okay guys, and here hopefully it's not too bright, but basically we have my 87. As you can see, I have the amber lenses on there. And what I did was I basically put one of the halogen clear bulbs in here, and then the halogen amber bulb is on this side. So I can show you both at the same time with the amber lenses. And if we move here to the right, we have my 88 B2200. And this has the clear lenses. And as you can see, we have a halogen bulb that's clear on this side and then we have the amber uh, halogen bulb on this side and I'll show you how that looks with the clear lenses on. Once we see both of them right now then we're going to swap into the new LED ones and I'll show you how that looks on both lenses as well. Let's do it. And here we are looking at your regular halogen bulbs. If you see the one right here on the right seems to be a little bit brighter than the amber bulb and that's because obviously it's clear with the clear lens. So let me hop over to the other side. Here we are seeing the other one. I mean, not bad. They get the job done for sure. And here we are looking at the amber lenses. Uh, the one right here on the left is gonna be your clear halogen bulb. And then if we go over to the right side over here, this is your bulb that's amber with the amber lens. As you can see, it definitely looks a lot more amber in this corner. Um, does the job for sure. Sorry guys, I have a full driveway so I can't show you how it looks basically clear with that car sitting here, but here we can see them kind of from behind the truck. We can see how bright they are. I mean, they do illuminate, like I said, people will definitely see you with these bulbs. All right guys, and here we are looking behind the truck. 
they're they're there, they're visible. You can definitely see them. You'll, you'll be able to be seen on the side of the road, but they're not very bright. At least they don't look super bright here. So let's go ahead and install our new LED bulbs. I'm gonna do one on the clear lens and one on the amber lens. So that way you guys can see how it looks game and i changed it to play how i like rearranged it to my own domain yeah i got what it takes made lots of mistakes taking shots skipping breaks feeling lost feeling great popping off singing straight never stop never changed all the squad here to play and i've got something to say yeah i work hard each and every day i get lost check it out guys this is uh clear lessons with the new led bulbs and look how much brighter they look i don't know if you can see it on the camera but they are almost blinding bright now. Uh, let me show you here before, behind the truck so you can see like how much more uh, light they're putting out. All right, guys, check it out. You can see how much brighter uh, they kind of look now. Honestly, if my truck wasn't there, it'd probably be shining a lot of light towards the front. Um, you can see a lot more of this side here. Uh, they are bright. They are very bright, guys. And check it out, just a little side by side. The white truck here has your halogen bulbs and the 88 Ma or the 87 Mazda has the LED bulbs. I mean, it basically drowns out the light from the right side. You almost can't see anything from this side. You kind of see the reflection here a little bit, but that is it. Everything's coming out from this side. Those bulbs are super bright, guys. Here is how the LED bulb looks with the amber lens. Still super bright. I mean, let me just show you here with the white lens. The white lens definitely makes it look a little bit brighter. Then the amber, the amber tones it down a little bit, but it is still super bright, guys. I think if you have either of these lenses, or even if you have smoke one, uh, like clear smoke ones, you are not, <laughs> you're not gonna be able to stop this light. It's super bright. So I definitely recommend you guys pick a setup if you're thinking about upgrading your turn signals. Uh, this is without the relay, so so far it seems to be okay. We gotta test the turn signals by themselves inside of the truck. So we'll do that here once we swap the front and the rear. Let me go ahead and swap the rear one super quick, four bolts, get it out, put the new uh, bulb in there, and then put your tail light back in place. So let's go ahead and do that first, and then we'll jump inside of the truck so I can show you if it hyper flashes, and if it does, we'll go ahead and put our relay in place. Let's do it. Okay guys, we have switched all the LED bulbs, and now when you turn on your hazard lights, it's gonna seem like everything's fine, Everything's normal, it's blinking the right speed. There's not a big deal, but if we try to put just the blinker, look at that. What that means is that we do need to install our LED relay. That way it's gonna prevent that from happening. And then this, the place where the LED relay is, here, let me turn on my light. It's basically gonna be down here. If you get underneath there, if you see that green, kind of little tab right there is sticking out. Let's see if I can get in here a little bit better. That green thing sticking out basically, that is your relay. That is the one that we need to take off and put our new one in place. So let's swap it out and then we'll see how the turn signals act with the new relay. So here we are looking at the old relay. And one thing to keep in mind with this, if you do have the factory green relay on there, there is a little tab that holds it in place right on this side. So the easiest way for you to take this out is gonna have to be to basically remove this little bracket that holds it in place and kind of twist it out. That way you can get your hand or a screwdriver or something back here to be able to remove that tab and take the relay out. Once you take it out, you put the new one in place. There's really no way to do it wrong because there's only three kind of prongs that come out and then it's gonna go right into the same spot in there. You'll see what I mean once you take it out. But basically, that is in place, so now we can put this back to where it was. But real quick, before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and test it. So we're gonna turn on the key here, and then let me get over here on this side. We're gonna turn our turn signal, and there you go. And now it's blinking normal, it's no hyper blinking. Same thing on the other side back to normal. So this is with all LEDs front and back already installed. So again, you will need this relay to be able to not hyper flash with these bulbs. All right guys, and here we have the fronts. I mean, they are super bright, I can tell you. I know it's, it's probably not as bad as comparison like we did last time just because it is cold outside right now, guys, and I'm trying not to be out there uh, if I can help it. But hopefully this just gives you a good kind of 
kind of overview of the the led bulbs they're very bright i mean this is super bright guys right now um definitely amber you're getting that full amber color out of them but it is flashing hardcore so it is a upgrade that is it's very worth it in my opinion i think it's worth upgrading to these bulbs you're going to be very visible on the road even if you don't have underbody lights like i do uh, there's no way you're going to miss me while i'm driving down the road whether it's turning uh, braking or with my underbody lights on this truck so there you have it guys what do you guys think about the oxido led uh, turn signals bulbs i think they're great again the size you need for this is an 11 feet in amber color and one thing to keep in mind as well is you will need that led relay or flash relay however you want to call it for the turn signals you won't need it for the brake and reverse lights you only need it for the turn signals very important otherwise you're going to get hyper flashing uh, every time you turn your turn signal you won't get it on the hazards but you will get it on the turn signal so keep that in mind pick up a led flasher pick up a set of bulbs and upgrade your truck I think it's definitely worth it for the money. Uh, unfortunately, like I said before, there's not full LED replacements for these trucks, whether it's the turn signals or, or tail lights or corner lights. Uh, but I think this is an upgrade that is worth doing. Another thing I wanna to mention too, I had some people ask me about the corner, uh, basically the, the bulbs that are right next to the headlights. Uh, I think a lot of people seem to be mistaken and think those are the turn signals. They are not. Your turn signals are the ones in the bumper. So keep that in mind. Now, it is very easy to swap those corner lights into your turn signals. Basically, all you need to do is replace the connector, swap the connector that is on the turn signal to the corner light and vice versa. And you basically swap uh, those lights. So if you wanted to do that, you can go ahead and do that. But I also want to let you know that that corner bulb is a bulb size 67. Again, that's a bulb size 67. So if you're thinking about upgrading that one into an LED bulb, get yourself a 67 bulb and you'll be able to swap that out to an LED one as well. Unfortunately, I reached out to the guys at Oxido and they told me that they didn't carry that bulb size in LED in their lineup. So that sucks to not be able to get them from them. But as far as the turn signals, brake reverse lights, those bulbs are fantastic so i would definitely recommend you guys pick up a set if you want to again links to everything will be down in the description so if you're thinking about picking up one up check it out there we have a code too if you go through their store you basically use flake garage they'll give you a discount uh, and it just gives you a little kickback for us so we really appreciate it if you do it that way if not check out there amazon ebay wherever you can find them pick up a set of these ones you're gonna be happy with them i don't think you can go wrong with them uh, again that's all i have for today guys thank you so much for watching if you like what we're doing please don't forget to leave a like hit, uh, leave a comment or hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up with what we're doing uh, and also check out our store flakegarage.com pick up a, a sticker maybe pick up a shirt uh, we really, really appreciate it that's the best way to support the channel so if you do thank you so much uh, and again we'll see you guys on the next video bye check out how bright these things are guys Jesus, hopefully you guys are not